Hello everyone. Git provides developers with several options to move changes from one branch to another. Merge is the most popular, but in this pro tip we're going to look at another option, rebasing. In a repository, you create a new feature branch from a master and create a couple commits on that new branch. Meanwhile, someone else in the team pushes a commit to master. Now, you want to add your changes on the feature branch back into master. Here's why you might use rebasing instead of merging. After a rebase or a merge, the resulting content of master branches would be identical. The difference is in the history. When merging, a new merge commit is created on the target branch, representing the unique changes from our source branch. The history is unchanged. When rebasing, Git finds the first common ancestor to both branches, C in this case, and replays the unique commits from the source branch onto the target. After a rebase, there are no new commits, and even the divergence at C has been forgotten in the history. Rebasing results in one fewer commits and one fewer branches in the resulting history. In general, this linear history is easier to read than one with many branches. Since the rebased version is so much easier to read, why would you ever want to merge at all? Because rebasing alters the commit history of a branch, if you rebase a branch someone else is working in, when they try to merge their changes after you, Git will become confused and will tell your teammate they cannot merge. Your teammate will tell you to fix what you've done, and doing work twice is not fun for anyone. If you and your team decide that rebasing is preferred, you must always remember one thing. Never rebase a public branch. Thanks for checking out this Dowerty Pro Tip. Hop into the comments to let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching.